The biggest company in the world is joining America's blue chip index. Apple is now one of the 30 stocks in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's a great indication for the rest of the world that this is one of the great American companies. The Dow was founded by Wall Street Journal editor Charles Dow, making its debut on May 26, 1896, with 12 companies. Today, the head of Dow Jones Indexes and the managing editor of the Wall Street Journal decide when to replace companies. Over its history, index changes average out to about nine per decade. It's an evolution, and the, and the people who run the Dow Jones have moved companies in and out accordingly. Those companies that have been taken over or they're no longer considered a real uh, bellwether of the U.S. economy. So why is now the time for Apple? The index is price-weighted, meaning more expensive stocks carry more weight in determining if the Dow rises or falls. And for a long time, Apple was just too expensive. But that changed in June 2014 when Apple issued a 7 to 1 stock split, meaning investors got 7 shares for every one that they owned. And overnight, the price of Apple went from $645 to about $92. But if Apple had entered before the split, the index would be thousands of points higher than where it is today. One estimate by Bloomberg says if Apple had joined the Dow in 2008 instead of Bank of America, the index would be above 22,000 today. Despite the cheaper price, traders are bullish. If Apple keeps performing the way they are and keeps having blowout sales and keeps moving forward, they could certainly take the Dow to 20,000 by themselves. Apple stock is already on fire. It's up more than 12% so far this year and more than 60% over the past 12 months. It's got Apple Watch sales to look forward to and a cash pile bigger than the total value of some Fortune 500 companies.